Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Bretopia. And today we are going to do some exploration. It has been a while since I've done a bit of exploration around here, and those few cases I have done before, there wasn't much in the way of on camera. Now, what we have is a great deal of cold area here. So we will have to uh, worry about getting through this rather frigid portion. And I'm hoping to find a warmer area without getting killed by a polar bear because polar bears are in the game now. Uh, for a moment there, I thought that was one. No, but that's a little bit of s sand there. But, oh yeah, a bit chilly here. So I'm hoping that I could find a coastline. And when I either find a coastline or I f find a bear, I shall be back. The good news is that I found a coastline. The bad news is that... Oh, oh boy. Good thing I didn't walk too far there. Uh, the bad news is that it's a bit on the chilly side. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't understand why that water's not flowing, but all right. Here we are. We are at the start of the beach or whatever, and down this way. So things are a little bit less cold here. So let's see if we can uh, see if thing heading a little bit south. Where am I heading right now? Down towards the in the ocean. Oh, how come I can sometimes know exactly what direction I'm going in? Sometimes I don't know. I can't find it. Well, oh, facing west. Let's face south. Yeah, and so therefore I'm going to try to navigate around this area down here. And seeing if I can eventually find something that would be a little bit more interesting than what I've got right here. So therefore, when I finally find some new land, a new world for us to explore, I shall be back. What I ran into seems to be a ocean monument at night, and they look... I didn't know, I guess with all those prismarine in there, they would glow, and... Does that spoon mean mining fatigue or something like that, I guess? Well, get out of the area, and I guess that mining fatigue will wear off in time. But, after a little scare from a guardian giving me one of those things, I will journey on and hopefully we'll find something by the time it's day. The moon is setting. The mining fatigue from that elder guardian is now expired. And I see the lights of a village up ahead. I decided not to get too close until... It's daytime, so that we don't have an invasion of zombies as soon as I get there. But I think it's getting light enough now so I can safely approach. Now, of course, I'm hoping that this doesn't turn out to be a zombie village or something like that. That'll be quite a wep welcome to get. Alright, we have arrived on land, and... Where, where's, where's my boat? My boats, they always seem to... I always have trouble finding my boats when I get out of them. Sorry. Oh well. I'll have to create another boat before <laughs> leaving, but alright. I have, well, found some cactus. That's, that's nice to see. Now, of course, going all this way just to find a village is probably 
Not a great idea, but I did find a desert and that would be good. Let's see if we could find anything around here. Now, are there any villagers or are they? actually I better be armed just oh no no it's regular villagers okay hello there librarian 30 smite 4 well I'll have to see about that gold well I'm not swimming in gold it's not like I've got a gold farm or anything like that around here let's explore this little place Maybe if we have anything we can grab. Obsidian! Iron helmet. Well, in a pinch I could get that. I could always grab a little bit. I brought ten obsidian with me because I figured I might need to make a portal at some point. I'll leave the rest here for now. Uh, let's throw a little light into here. Good. Good. Never hurts to discourage the repopulation of zombies as much as possible. Looks like a pretty straightforward village. Butcher 14 and 18. Well, I've got much better chicken trades where I am. In a better, more convenient location. I'll have to check to see if there's anything decent here, but the... Oh. I just wanted... Where did that librarian go? 25. Projectile protection 3. Yeah, that would be useful against... Hey, 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 hey. Hey, make it through, please. Wait, you, you think I have an overdue book or something? All right, thank you. All right. Now, let's see if there's anything else we could find out around here. So we have a savanna. Oh, this could be a good place for some acacia. But what I want to do is I want to find a location not too close to the village, not too far either, where I could plop down a another portal. And I'm hoping that we may be able to find a more convenient way of getting back and forth now. You have a nice large view all over the place here. You can see the village from here. Yeah, this looks like a nice nice place to go. So let us make our portal right here. Yeah, right here. And oh yeah. Make a shield, but never don it. Yeah, perfect, Pinely, perfect. Now we want one, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll make sure I have the right number. Uh, we don't want any silliness of not having enough or anything like that. We want... I did not bring... Ah, oh, no, here, here's the dirt. Yeah. I was going to say that I didn't bring anything for scaffolding. Of course, I've got all the sand all over the place. But all right. One, two, three, two, three, four. All right. Good. Now, that should make a decent portal. Now, of course, whether or not this will... Do anything for me is another question. Right. Well, should we go inside? Well, uh, well that's a fun place to spawn. <laughs> well, uh, at least it. Wait, I came here without a pickaxe. <laughs> yeah, right. That's right. I intended to make one just before leaving on the journey. And obviously, I forgot that little detail. Well, well, we don't need the clock at the moment since that's on the fritz due to the location. And... 
Hopefully I can get this made before something spawns out and kills me. Good. And let's look at that. Now, quartz. Quartz sets. I know you think of, I, I came all this distance just <laughs> just to gather some quartz. Mm -hmm. Hey, ooh. Now, let's see. We have. Let's go to this. Oh, actually, no. I need that. That. Well, I can't use a bed in the Nether anyway. And I will at some point have to find a way to. Was it right here? Someday I should learn the difference. How to tell a gas from a pigment. But right now, I think I at least do a little bit of. But glow stuff. That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, that would be really nice. Now, of course, if I could find a way to get back and find the other... Now, I'm hoping is at some point I could find the other point in the nether. Uh, let's go. Getting a little extra nether rack will never hurt either. Let's gather as much as this as possible. I, I'm going to probably deposit this in the in the desert for now. You know, I'm not going to really chance getting too close there. So if I get too close, then you know I'll get way too close, and I certainly don't want to go inside of that area. Well, how about if I want to find a safe way to collect this? Yeah, like that. There we go. You'll eventually find a safe way there. All right, now. Okay, there's my portal. And somewhere far away. Oh, wonderful. Another spider. That's going to make me really fun. But anyway. That's the little check there. That's not our main mission today. Now let's get back here. Let me get my clock back and see so I could gather acacia. All sorts of things here. I'll probably be collecting a huge number of resources between episodes. And finding out what I can find within the desert area and see what's connected to it. But for now, let's throw the quartz, the glowstone dust. I don't need the eggs. Ooh. Uh, keep the flint steel for two pieces of obsidian. All right, I'll and the netherrack. All right, I'll toss all that in there now, and I should throw that in there too. Keep that. Just have to remember that this is at. Take a screenshot so that. I do fail to find anything I could. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to head out, do some exploration, and see if I could find anything more interesting than desert. What I found is another village, which unfortunately has a cave system right next to it. And I've run to a couple of zombies around here. And last thing you want is a zombie spawnable area right next to a village. 
Of course, they're not going to go in there. It turns into a zombie village, right? Yeah. But we'll see. Now, this is the other end, which is on the village side. Yeah, the bats are fine. It's the zombies I'm worried about. Well, they look like regular NPCs. That's good news. Yeah. Weaponsmith. Yeah, I've got those coming out of my ears elsewhere. Twenty-five. Knock back two. Yeah, we'll probably eventually find a trade so good I say, Ooh, I wish I put the portal here instead. But we'll see. Anyway, a, another village. And all over the place. So it looks like we're going to run into several of these. What is that? Is that a, another village or is... So we are getting villages all over the place. Or is that something else? But we'll see. Yeah, let, let's have a look at this and I think that's where we'll end this episode. As soon as I figure out what this I think, is this a desert temple? Yeah, I think it's a desert temple. And if I remember correctly, these things are extremely dangerous to explore. As in, if you take one wrong step, you wind up dead, exploding things all over the place, and stuff like that. So this is where I'm going to conclude the episode. And next time, we are going to take a little look into this little temple here and I'm going to make sure I reset my spawn point. Do all those fun precautions I like to I, I must uh, that's right I left my crafting bench way back at that other location. <laughs> well the only wood I got is acacia. Well, it looks like there's plenty of it in this area, so I guess using it for this is... I'm going to just have to use it, you know, use it to get myself a chest here. Good. That way I could have a precaution against nasty things happening. But that is all for today, and when we see you next time, I am going to attempt to delve into this little bit of a desert temple here and see whether or not I get killed and if I survive great and if I don't well I guess I'll have a quick trip back to my main base but we'll find that out in the next episode of Piney Plays Minecraft Retopia